I think I cannot learn how to educate horses in higher exercises without getting the chance to ride a well-educated school horse first. Do you provide school horses? No, I do not have school horses in a, a way that you could sit on a complete educated horse and get the feeling from that horse. And I also do not believe that you learn to educate, that you have just that you have the feeling of an end product. To have the feeling of the end product, you might have an idea what you're searching for, but you still don't know the way to get there. Therefore, what we are doing nowadays is learning how to educate a horse from very basic and step by step continue. It's more the education of the human, not only of the feeling, but also the pedagogical way of working with a horse, or at all as a working with pedagogical terms, that is the big problem. In the academic art of riding, we see two spirits must want to do what two bodies can. And I can, out of experience, tell you it's not the spirit of the horse which is the problem and also quite seldom the body of the horse, which is a problem. So it's a very, very long development for a human to become a good rider. Therefore, just, having, uh, just sitting on a horse who can do a good piaf will perhaps give you a feeling that you cannot use for very many things in the beginning of the year, the education of the horse you have. You have to learn things like groundwork, launching, and all these things, it's body language, communication from a horse. You have to learn to see the answer of the horse when you question it. So when you with your body give a question and the horse do not give you the right answer, can you see it's the wrong answer? Or even when you give the wrong question, the horse gives the right answer. Uh, what is the answer to your question? You have to learn to see horses, you have to learn to feel horses. And that's a much longer way than just having the feeling of what does the Piaf feel with when it's good. And I can also tell you, when a horse is used to a school horse, the Piaf it's doing, it's not a real Piaf in most cases. It's more kind of a being afraid on the place or stepping nervous on the place. So reading the feeling of a school horse would get lost if we use it too much for pupil to sit on. Therefore, the idea of sitting of a school horse was uh, used earlier, but in most cases for professional riders who were already very, very far, that you just got that little extra touch of it. So of course it's useful to have that feeling, but I do not see that we will get there again, that we can afford such an enormous expensive riding academy for the educator of riders, and therefore we are going different ways. We are going into a long-term study, which doesn't matter nowadays. Earlier they had to get finished, they had to go into war. Luckily we do not have to go into war. The mo main project nowadays is to spend time well. And that is a development, being together with a horse, getting a little better, getting more, having ambitions of course, sometimes your ambitions are too strong, so be thrown back by your own ambitions. Learn out of it, development is also sometimes to take a step back and reconsider how you should get to your ambitions in a better way. Therefore, it's not always the school horse which is the best teacher. It's sometimes life and patience.